For today's video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to solve equations transformable into quadratic equations. And we are going to start from simple to complex example. On number 1, we have x times the quantity x plus 3 equals 28. So to find the value of x in the given equation, the first thing that we're going to do is to multiply x by x plus 3. So let us have x multiplied by x, that is x squared. And x multiplied by 3, that is 3x equals 28. And let us move 28 on the other side of equation. This will be x squared plus 3x minus 28 equals 0. So let us factor this one. The factors of x squared is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 28. And if we add, we can get positive 3. And that is positive 7 and negative 4. 7 multiplied by negative 4 is negative 28. And 7 plus negative 4 is positive 3. So let us equate to 0. This will be x plus 7 equals 0. And x minus 4 equals 0. So let us move 7 and negative 4 on the other side of equation. This will be x equals negative 7 and x equals equals positive 4 and this will be our answer on number 2 we have 3x times the quantity x minus 2 equals 12x just like an example number 1 let us multiply 3x by x that is 3x square and 3x multiplied by negative 2 that is negative 6x equals 12x and let us move 12x on the other side of equation. It will give us 3x squared minus 6x minus 12x equals 0. So let us simplify this one. Let us write 3x squared negative 6x minus 12x that is negative 18x equals 0. So we can minimize our equation by dividing each term by 3 because they are divisible by 3. So, let us cancel this one. It will give us x squared. Negative 18 divided by 3 is negative 6. And then we have x equals 0. So, the greatest common factor between x squared and negative 6x is x. And then let us divide. x squared divided by x is x. Negative 6x divided by x is negative 6. And then let us equate to 0. So, the values of x are x equals 0. And the other one is x minus 6 equals 0. Let us move this one. That is x equals positive 6. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have quantity x plus 1 square plus quantity x minus 8 square equals 45. So to find the value of x in the given equation, let us simplify first each binomial. So let us have x times to itself, that is x square. And x multiply by 1, that is 1x, times the constant 2, that is 2x. And 1 multiply by itself, that is 1, plus x times itself, that is x square. x multiply by negative 8, that is negative 8x, times the constant 2, that is negative 16x. Negative 8 times to itself, that is positive 64, equals 45. So let us combine like terms x square plus x square that is 2x square 2x minus 16x that is negative 14x and 1 plus 64 that is 65 equals 45 so let us move 45 on the other side of equation it will give us 2x square minus 14x plus 65 minus 45 equals 0 so let us have 2x squared minus 14x, 65 minus 45, that is 20. Since each of the coefficients are divisible by 2, so let us divide the whole equation by 2. It will give us x squared, negative 14 divided by 2, that's negative 7. And then we have x, 20 divided by 2 is 10, equals 0. So let us factor this one. The factors of x squared, that is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get 
positive 10. And if we add, we can get negative 7. And that is negative 5 and negative 2. Negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. Negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 7. So let us equate to 0. So x minus 5 equals 0 and x minus 2 equals 0. Let us move negative 5 and negative 2 on the other side of equation. It will give us x equals 5 and x equals 2. And this will be our answer. On example number 4, we have quantity x plus 2 square over 5 plus quantity x minus 2 square over 3 equals 16 over 3. So the first thing that we're going to do to find the value of x is to multiply the whole equation by the LCM of 5 and 3. So the LCM of 5 and 3 is 15. So let us multiply the whole equation by 15. It will give us 15 times the quantity x plus 2 square over 5 plus 15 times the quantity x minus 2 square over 3 equals 16 over 3 times 15. 15 divided by 5, that is 3. And then we have x plus 2 square plus 15 divided by 3 is 5. And then we have x minus 2 square equals 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 5 times 16 is 80. So let us have 3, and then let us square this one. x times x is x square. x times 2 is 2x times the constant 2, that is 4x. And 2 multiplied by itself, that is 4. And then we have 5. Let us have x times x is x square x times negative 2 is negative 2x times the constant 2, that is negative 4x. Negative 2 times 2 itself, that is 4 equals 80. So let us have 3 times x square, that is 3x square, and 3 times 4x, that is 12x, and 3 times 4, that is 12. And the other side will be 5 times x square is 5x square. And then, 5 multiplied by negative 4x is negative 20x. And 5 times 4, that's 20, equals 80. So let us combine like terms. 3x square plus 5x square, that is 8x square. And then, 12x minus 20x, that is negative 8x and 12 plus 20 that is 32 equals 80. So let us move 80 on the other side of the equation. It will give us 8x square minus 8x plus 32 minus 80 equals 0. So let us have 8x square minus 8x 32 minus 80 that is negative 48 equals 0. Since each of the terms divisible by 8, let us divide the whole equation by 8. It will give us x square minus x negative 48 divided by 8 is negative 6 equals 0. So let us factor this one. The factors of x square is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 6. And if we add, we can get negative 1. And that is negative 3 and positive 2. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 3 plus 2, that's negative 1. So let us equate to 0. This will be x minus 3 equals 0. And x plus 2 equals 0. So let us move negative 3 and positive 2 on the other side of equation. This will be x equals 3 and x equals negative 2 and this will be our answer on our last example we have x plus 2 over 2x plus x plus 2 over 4 equals negative 1 over 2 so the first thing that we're going to do is to multiply the whole equation by the lcm of 2x 4 and 2 so the lcm of 2x 4 and 2 that is simply 
4x. So let us have 4x. So we have 4x times x plus 2 all over 2x plus 4x times x plus 2 over 4 equals 4x times negative 1 half. So let us simplify. 4x divided by 2x, that is simply 2. And then we have x plus 2. And then 4x divided by 4, that is x. And then we have x plus 2. 4x divided by 2, that is 2x times negative 1. So let us have 2 times x, that is 2x. 2 times 2, that's 4 x times x is x squared, x times 2, that is 2x, and then 2x multiplied by negative 1 is negative 2x. So let us combine like terms. Let us write x squared, 2x plus 2x is 4x plus 4 equals negative 2x. And then let us move negative 2x on the other side of equation. This will be x squared plus 4x plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. So let us have x squared plus 4x plus 2x, that is 6x plus 4 equals 0. Since x squared plus 6x plus 4 is not factorable, we are going to solve this one using quadratic formula. So the value of a, that is 1 b is 6 and c is 4 and the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a so let us have negative and then b is 6 plus or minus 6 square minus 4 times the value of a which is 1 and 4 that is 4 so we have 2 times the value of a that is 1 so let us have negative 6 plus or minus 6 square, that is 36. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, times 4 is negative 16, over 2 times 1 is 2. So we have negative 6 plus or minus 36 minus 16 is 20, all over 2. And then we have negative 6 plus or minus since 20 is not a perfect square, we are going to find two numbers. If we multiply, we can get 20, which one of the factors is a perfect square. And that is 4 times 5. 4 is a perfect square and 4 times 5 is 20. And then let us have negative 6. The square root of 4 is positive and negative 2 square root of 5 all over 2. And to simplify this one, we are going to have Negative 6 divided by 2, that is negative 3. And then 2 divided by 2, that is 1. We are going to have positive and negative 1. And then we are going to have square root of 5. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.